crisis among us, dear brothers and sisters, on this fifth Sunday of Lent, we read the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, verses 32 to 45. For the third and final time, Mark reports the announcement of the death and resurrection of Jesus. This passage introduces to us a very significant scene. Jesus is definitely on his way to Jerusalem, the center of Judaism, where the tragedy of his suffering and death will take place, and he himself precedes his disciples there. This same verb will serve to express the promise of the resurrection. The reason Jesus will again proceed the disciples as God and shepherd in Galilee. Jesus always guides us and proceeds us. What Jesus says to his disciples about what will happen to him in Jerusalem seems strange and absurd, since it is out of human control and understanding. The various moments of the Passion are listed in a precise order of succession. The Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles, who will mock him, spit upon him, scourge him, and put him to death. And after three days, he will rise. Here we are faced with a catechetical summary, which contains the essential points of the Christian charisma. It is very important for us to understand the decisive importance of the death and resurrection of Jesus, because only in this way we can enter the mystery of his person and thus create a relationship with him. 